Well, hello everybody out there. I have been kind of missing in action for a couple of weeks. Been really, really busy. Wanted to talk to you a little bit about what's been going on here. Very excited. We've made four brand new music videos and they're in production right now. This is one of my outfits for one of the videos. This will be for Side Hustle. And I love, love, love these boots. Thigh, whoops, thigh high boots. Aren't these gorgeous? I love that they have like sunsets on them. My outfit has like dragons on it. Yup, and it's see-through. So you'll see a little bit more of that in uh, Side Hustle, making it. And I hope you'll love it. It was a lot of fun. But like I said, the bounce, 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 boom, boom is all about... <laughs> <laughs> working on a job that takes everything and like sucks the life out of you and you're giving it your best you're doing the best you can but you know you just work for people who just don't appreciate you on the other hand I also made a video for grandma's love and we made one for white woman's rap that's the rap about me and I, I hope it goes well because, you know, it's kind of like white men can't jump. <clears throat> the statement here is, you know, Deborah has some rapping in her because she likes to tell stories and she likes to talk about, you know, things that she's been through in her life. Why? So that I can share that with you to inspire you because no matter how shitty life gets, no matter how many bad things happen to you, if you stick to it, if you have tenacity, and if you get out there and have a can-do attitude, I know you can do it. And even if it just takes a little second a day, like I've been in four severe car accidents, and really three of them were bad whiplashes. So all of these dance lessons I'm taking are things, you know, like where we practice this, moving our shoulders backwards, moving our shoulders forward, because I'm in pain a lot with my neck being out of alignment, then my back, you know, all of those kind of things. So if I just take a little bit of exercise every day and I try to like build up my muscles, then it helps me. So trying to get more healthy. Another thing I've been doing is Tom Brady. Oh my gosh, Tom Brady, Patriots expatriates, retired, Super Bowl champion. But let's face it, the guy never ages and he looks amazing, but he works hard, he works out a lot. But I'm trying his new plant protein. This stuff, I've been taking it now a few days. Not only does it taste really delicious and it doesn't make me sick, but I actually feel better. I actually feel more energy it feels like i have more oxygen in my system and so that is well worth it right there but i highly recommend it i got chocolate flavor and it's based on peas like sweet peas and it's gluten free it's vegan um there this is like super super good stuff so i'm trying that out the other thing that's really interesting to me and that's like 130 calories. Um, and then I put it in coconut water. My coconut water is like 60 calories. So that's like 190. And then I eat like a bowl of, oh, either Cheerios or like corn checks or rice checks with it. And I put a, put a few uh, pecans on there, but you could put walnuts. Not, not like fistfuls, but you know, a little bit because nuts are good for you and fruit's good for you. Electrolytes, so like a lot of people are outside right now in the heat or if you're working out at home, staying safe, all of that good stuff. This is really good. Um, this is a Tom Brady product also. And what I do is I just uh, pop the lid here and then turn it over and I put it in some Perrier or you can put it in I don't know, maybe you like iced tea. You just put a quick squirt in there, just a little bit. And I gotta tell you, this is very good too. 
So between that, making my music videos, being out in the garden a lot, um, I've been super busy lately. And all of these different videos we're making, like I said, we're making four, and you should be seeing these very soon. I think the, the most fun that we had was basically doing a white woman's wrap. We blocked the street off. The city was great to work with, and it was really, really cool. But I wanted to do a quick behind the scenes on it because <laughs> We shot two days before, sorry, I'm sitting on my lace and it's like distracting. We shot two days before um, 4th of July. So a guy was coming down the street. He wasn't happy that the street was blocked off. Even though my street's only like three houses long, he could have easily gone around the block. But obviously they were celebrating early and they were either on something... I don't know, drink, drinkable or swallowed. I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea, but they were super happy and in another dimension. But they decided they were going to shoot fireworks at us while we're out in the street dancing. And it was about 100 degrees out there by the time you got the heat, the humidity, the asphalt, and then, of course, the engine on my car running. Uh, it was just, like, too much. So... Ended up having to call the police over because they were shooting bottle rockets and they were shooting, I don't know what else, off and trying to, uh, you know, what they said, help us celebrate. <laughs> I don't think so. Anyway, they wouldn't just like go away. They came over and they literally parked the car and were starting to like get all of this firework artillery out to like shoot it right directly at us so unfortunately that was the worst part of you know trying to just get out there and get things done but the the fun part was um the moving company dancers from the university of nebraska at omaha uh, weren't able to do any kind of you know dance recitals or public kind of things like they normally do because of the COVID-19. So this was an opportunity to get them together, the ones that could make it. Um, and we practiced social distancing and we had on our masks and that was a feat because of the heat <laughs> and the humidity. But anyway, we had a great time going out and dancing and um, the dance I'm hoping that we'll be able to do a TikTok competition and that the department chair uh, Danielle Lorian will be able to be our um, one of our you know our leaders in being able to pick out the, the people who can most dance in their own unique way to white woman's rap. And I'm all about, we'll have basic dance moves that you'll see me dancing, uh, you'll see me dancing with all of them. And you'll see that it's done in a fun way and an expressive way so everybody can be like their own self. But I encourage you to learn the steps. And then once we start the TikTok contest, um, we'll have some of the dancers and we'll have Danielle and we'll have um, some great prizes and some fun doing it. So it's all meant to inspire. And what it's really meant to do is inspire women to go out and be everything they can be. Don't listen to the negativity and the negative comments. And, you know, um, I think rap, and I'm really, really proud of Nicki Minaj and Cardi B. I'm in awe of these women. Why? Because they took rap that used to be totally like a male-dominated thing, and they put women on the map. And they're beautiful. They're smart. I mean, and these are business women. They know how to not only look good, but make the buck. <laughs> they got the bucks. Anyway, I love, I love these women they are like um 
models of a successful woman and what we should try to strive to be if you want to be a career woman. Um, am I ever going to be even halfway, one fourth of an inch close to what they are? No, no, can't do that. But you know what? I think anyone can be everything that they desire to be if they just get out and give it a go. So I'm here to inspire and I just want you all to know that I can't wait till these videos come out. It should be shortly. And um, you'll see that we've used some drone uh, footage in the upcoming White Woman's Wrap. That'll be cool. So you'll see um, the car, the house um, from MTV, the things that you've seen on MTV. You'll see that in this video. And what else? So, side hustle, side hustle, you'll see this outfit in side hustle, and you'll see that I have some cool jewels on my face in that, and what else about that? I love side hustle. I think side hustle is so fun. I, I wanted to, um, I wanted to get my point across in a fun way because, <clears throat> well, when you're on the job and you're doing your damnedest, and you're trying to make, you know, trying to make a buck because you've got things you're trying to do in your life. And all you get is criticism or people making it hard for you. You know, you need a laugh. You need a stress, rel stress reliever. And I hope that when you watch Side Hustle and you listen to the words and you can relate to it, I hope that it'll give you encouragement and strength to carry on. And then I know that I did what was good for everybody. So coming to you from my home and inspiring you to please try. I mean, if you haven't tried Tom Brady's new products, go for it. He's also got a great line of just workout stuff that you can use kind of like when you travel or in a small space and you don't have to have big equipment, but he's got like some exercise bands and some other stuff that I thought was really, really very good. And I'm gonna try to get a couple of those. Um, Lord knows that big equipment does get a little bit pricey. So it's not like I can afford to go out and buy tons of that and have my own gym. And right now nobody can really go to the gym.